Hello all, in this video we are going to see how we visualize a waffle chart. I'm sure every one of us have waffles for our breakfast or for lunch or sometime uh, for a snack or something. Okay, so if you notice here, you see all the cells in the, um, all the dividing uh, cells here in the waffle. So our chart also would look like that, okay? So let's see how to draw the waffle chart and what that represents. So usually a waffle chart uh, represents a single value, okay? So a single value that we want to represent um, out of 100%. So for that, since I said 100%, I need to have 100 cells here that starts with 1 to 100, okay? So let me write that. So now select all these and you could use this plus mark here and then or cross mark and then uh, drag until you get 10. Okay, so as soon as you're dragging, you could actually see the number. Now you could see the number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now I got 10 values and uh, here I want to use 10, 20, 30 until 90. Okay, so again select all 90 here. Okay, so I, I will tell you why I have given 90 there. So now copy this whole 1 to 10 and then paste in all these cells here. Um, up to the last line, okay? So now you got these 100, okay? So now 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, 10, and then 10, 10. Now th this one, what we need to do, we have to make it 11, 12, 13, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Exactly, that's what you got now that we are going to add with the 10 with this row and 20 with this row, 30 with this row. So that's why we become 11, 21, 31, 41, and so on to 100, okay? So you got that one. So now what we need to do is we have to copy this. In order to do that, we have to copy this thing. Use, I'm using my keyboard to copy this and go to paste. Yeah, you have to copy this. Uh, before you pasting, you have to select all this data. Um, you will be selecting the data because you want to add this from the second row, right? So, so select from second one, okay? So now what you need to do is you have to paste, go to paste special. Under the paste special, you would see all these options. So what operation that we have to use? Exactly, add and then click OK. So now you get 11, 12, 13 because we didn't select the first one because we want it to be you know, one, one, two, three. And if you want, you could put zero and add that zero there, but it doesn't matter here. Okay, so now we got 100 record, 100 cells. Since in the waffle house, we are representing the whole waffle as 100, and in that 100 percentage, we will be looking at a certain percentage of data. So, so since this is all right now in numbers, let's convert to percentage. For that, I'm going to divide all my values by 100. So for that, what we have to do? So copy the 100 cell, value of 100 cell, and then select all this data, whatever you want to divide, and then do paste special, select divide, and then click OK. Okay, so now you got this, okay? So in order to convert to percentage under the number, just select the percentage here, okay? So now nicely we got this one, okay? So now what we need to do is enter your choice. So for example, if you want to represent your single value of, uh, um, let's say this has to be percent. So make sure you go to the number and select percentage. And I want to select a percentage of 42, okay? So 
I want to represent 42. Now you could see the numbers here with the decimal point uh, uh, two zeros. You could select that and under number, you could see decrease decimal. So decrease the decimal twice so that you'll get 42%, okay? So now what you need to do is you have to select all your matrix and then use conditional formatting. Under conditional formatting, you could see new rule that you want to place. So what is our goal? I want to highlight all the cells that are from 1 to 42. I don't want to highlight from 43 to 100, right? So for that, what, we, what I need to do is format only cells that contain the cell value less than or equal to 42 in this example here. In order to say, in later on example, this might be 98, okay? And you have to select this under new formatting rule, okay? And then, uh, and then select it, uh, and then click this one, okay? So once you click this, now you could see that cell value less than or equal to 42, whatever the value that we are going to place. Basically, we are writing a formula. And then click on format, and you could select whatever the color that you want. So maybe let's go with the uh, waffle color. Maybe this is waffle color, I don't know, okay? Click OK, click OK. So now you would be able to see all this has been uh, selected until 42 percentage, okay? So now select all, select all, and let's use all borders here, okay? And you could find all borders under the font um, here, all borders, okay? So now you get all the borders. Now, Waffle is kind of empty here, if you notice, you know, I mean, if you want, you could put some blueberries that fix that pixel or that fix that cell. But here we don't want any data to represent that. because You just want a pictorial representation without a data there. For that, what you need to do is basically uh, select all of your data, uh, right click on that, format cells, under format cells, select custom. And in the custom, basically, here you have lots of regular expressions, how you can change the data that has been given, okay? So here, basically, you would be doing three semicolons. Because we have three, men, three numbers at max, we are removing all that stuff, okay? So type three semicolons, and then click OK. So now we got this one, okay? However, our pixel size is too low, uh, sorry, too high, and we could convert that to, in a nice way to select this. Whatever the size that you want for your waffle. Okay, so now I don't want 42 now, maybe I want 68 percentage. Okay, so this would be 68. 69, 70, and 8, 80, 90, 100, okay? So we didn't uh, do all those, okay? So um, what you need to do is, so this is a waffle that you could see, waffle chart, and now you could go to view and uh, uncheck the uh, grid lines. So now you would be able to see the data in a nice way, okay? So enter your choice here. Maybe I want to enter now 82. So you are going to select 82. If you want to do only 15 percentage, you'll get only 15 cells of data, okay? If you want to view 100 percentage, you could do 100 percentage. It depends on whatever the data that you want to represent. So this chart is helpful in order to identify the single value. However, some of you could argue with me, well, it shows double value because something is highlighted and something is unhighlighted, right? So unhighlighted is a second value, highlighted is a uh, first value that we want to choose, okay? So that is also another way that you could see that you could represent the two different values. But it's mainly concentrating on one value, highlighting that particular value there, okay? Whatever the value that you want to choose. Maybe you want to choose number of tasks that you have finished, okay? So something like that. And I want to show you an example, a real-time example with COVID-19 of this waffle chart, okay? Uh, if you look at um, 
the New York city of um, coronavirus outbreaks. And I found this image from New York Times website uh, where you could see the waffle chart for different regions here, West Coast, Northeast, South, uh, South. Uh, this is the whole West and Midwest, okay? So they have divided different regions uh, of the United States. And here you could see 92% in Northeast. So if you notice, their waffle charts from the bottom, okay? So that's up to you, however you want to decide. So we have done from the top. So this is one of the example that you could see that represents one value of Northeast or Midwest or this one. OK, so travel from New York City seeded wave of US outbreaks. And, you know, if you if you find out that uh, you could read more story about that. OK, so uh, this is all about uh, Waffle um, uh, chart uh, that you could uh, practice in Excel. OK, thanks for watching.